Okay guys, the planter that we're using here is actually an old Covington planter. It was a two row planter. Uh, I cut it in half and made a single row out of it and used the other half for a cultivator uh, that matches this one. And um, what you have here is this part right here is where you put your seeds in. There's a plate down inside it down in here that uh, you, you put different plates for different spacings. Um, I just didn't happen to have a plate for peas. The only plate I have for this old planter is corn. And of course, it's got the place here to sow peas in your corn if you're going to like for cow, cow peas and stuff like that. And then you got your fertilized hopper up here and your mechanism up there with your pants legs and all that that lets the seeds fall in the ground. You got a set of coulters down here that actually opens up a furrow and the seed drops right inside that furrow and then this back wheel actually presses the dirt on each side of it and leaves it soft in the middle so that the seed can come up through it. Uh, this planter is probably uh, 40 to 50 years old. It's been in my family for a long time. It was my dad's. Uh, he had it for years and now I've had it for many years. And uh, you know when you farm like we do on several acres of land and you need a good bit of corn and you need your rows fertilized and stuff like that uh, this is the way to go um, this is how we keep from having to have too much manual labor um, on our homestead we use equipment to do as much as we possibly can because it, we feel like that in order for us to survive at the lifestyle that we live we need this at our age because we can't physically get out here and do everything by hand like we used to. Now what we've done with this today is we didn't actually plant any seeds. We came in and just fertilized the rows. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and take our Hoss Tool Seeder and we're going to seed the rows down with our peas and get them put in so that um, you know we can have them to eat this coming year. Also, guys, let me just add one reason that we use this. I mean, you have to understand, this piece of equipment makes the row, fertilizes the row, and puts the seeds in and covers them up for you. Now, you know, we didn't have uh, the plate for the peas, but if we had done that and we had had the plate less than 10 minutes... I could have planted those three rows of peas and this piece of equipment plants them perfect. I mean it's not like you're getting the spacing wrong with your hands or they're out of line or anything like that. It, it's, it spaces everything out perfect. It spaces the rows out perfect. And now when it comes time for us to come in and have to plow it, we'll take the cultivator that's the other half of this. The plows are already set to match everything. We'll come in here and plow this thing. and, and it, five to ten minutes we've plowed it and cleaned the rows out put dirt up to the peas I mean it does all that that's why we love using our equipment here on the homestead